Hello everybody. Um, first, I would like to thank uh, the organizer of Biohackathon to invite me. Uh, uh, also, in my, it's my first Biohackathon and I'm really, really happy to be here. Uh, so my name is uh, Pierre Lamond. Um, I'm a researcher at um, IRD, Institute of uh, Research for Development. So that means um, it's a French institution uh, that aims to build up a research partnership with uh, southern developing countries. And currently, I'm based in Vietnam, Hanoi, uh, in a French-Vietnamese uh, joint university. Um, um, so, uh, in France, uh, I'm based in the south, in Montpellier, and uh, I'm a part of the South Green Bioinformatic Platform, uh, which uh, develop uh, tools, databases on um, agronomy um, and bioinformatics. And today, I will talk to you about AgroLD, which is a knowledge-based platform uh, that aims to integrate uh, um, molecular plant biology and phenotyping data uh, to answer research questions. Uh, so the, today the main focus of the agronomy research uh, is to find new, new alleles, uh, having a better adaptation uh, to climate changes. And so, so there are several methods to, uh, to find new alleles. Uh, so combining genomic variation and phenotypic diversity studies on large collection, um, doing uh, several methods uh, such as the genome-wide association studies, statistical methods uh, is one of uh, the, the way. Uh, there are already many projects that uh, aim to, uh, to decipher the uh, this diversity, so well known is in uh, agronomy is the 3,000 rice genomes project and also the 1,000 um, genomes uh, are abdopsis. Um, however, the, the amount of data is so used to, uh, to handle and uh, there are many layers of information um, between the genotypes and the observed phenotype that is very difficult for biologists and even for uh, statistical methods to uh, to infer the, the really uh, um, relation between the genes um, and and the phenotypes. So understand the links between the gene and phenotypes is, is very complex, and this requires uh, uh, at some points uh, data integration at different scale. Um, so we develop we start a project. Um, um, of a um, semantic web uh, based system that integrates uh, agronomic data from public databases um, and also from um, the, um, the resources that we are producing at uh, the platform. Um, so it's called AgroLD. Um, so the aim is to improve the gene functional annotations, um, also to build up a plant molecular uh, knowledge network and to understand the phenotype genotype relationship. So um, we developed the project in phases. So now we are phase one, and we um, so the pro the project is available at the web address agroalid.org. Uh, we starting with integrating data on many on rice species, uh, also Arabidopsis, uh, some wheat species, sorghum and maize, for comparative genomics. Um, so we use uh, we we use public data sets to integrate data from different sources, databases, data standards such as uh, GFF or VCF, GVCF, or uh, even have uh, many standards. Uh, also, some uh, um, information extract from PubMed abstracts, and so we <clears throat> integrate data from. Uh, uh, different data sources such as Gramin, um, Genes, QTL Pathway and Ontology Association, um, Gene Ontology Association GoAL database, so uh, Uniprot information of course, uh, and some uh, databases that we store in-house in, uh, in uh, our platform for comparative genomics or Greenfield DB or um, mutant databases or as a tagline or even um, gene, gene uh, origin DB genomic databases and a trop db which is a phenotypic uh, genetic databases and so now we extend this um, integration for 
um, several um, bioinformatics uh, platform, French bioinformatics platform. Um, so we are developing collaboration with different uh, French bioinformatics uh, platform. Um, to do integration, we use um, our existing ontologies. Um, so we use the data ontologies by combining uh, them uh, with uh, um, a new uh, with uh, our um, uh, vocabulary. So we develop a vocabulary and integrate uh, um, predicates from these ontologies or do mappings with these ontologies. So that's uh, there are well known uh, gene ontology, plant ontology, plant threat ontology, uh, many of them actually. Um, so. We, are, um, we develop uh, several pipelines to transform data, and one of them is to, one of them is to um, do semantic annotation with um, a bio bottle uh, like uh, repository we develop also in house. Um, it's agro portal, so it's a, a portal to uh, store um, ontologies and vocabularies for agronomy. You, are, you also can check it uh, on the website. Okay, so how the knowledge is structured in, uh, in our system, so we, we use when possible the vocabularies to link the different uh, linked uh, resources. So ontologies uh, link uh, Uniprot or EBR, RDF or SIO. So we develop our own schema that ma do mapping with the other schemas also. So we develop many um, ETL pipeline, uh, many in Python. Uh, so pipeline to extract information from databases uh, through CSV or uh, directly through SQL and uh, some pipelines to uh, extract information from data standards such as GFF or HapMap. Um, so its pipelines are available uh, on our website, GitHub website. And then we develop um, a web application to allow biologists to interact with the data. Um, so we developed uh, the web application with uh, several interfaces. So it's uh, quiz search uh, interfaces, a keyword uh, search. Uh, advanced search, which is uh, a form-based search and that combine a, um, a query on the, our application and external web services. Um, explore relationship, uh, it's uh, interface that um, use Rail Finder uh, plugin to uh, um, query and uh, uh, display um, connected networks uh, from the knowledge base, and also Sparkle Query Editor, uh, which use um, uh, Yasky and Yasky uh, plugin to uh, highlight uh, and build up Sparkle Query. And then we develop also patent query to uh, to uh, twenty uh, patent queries to. Um, enable uh, biologists and bioinformation to start with the Sparkle. Okay, so uh, we have a web service API also to, to allow uh, um, programmatic uh, interaction with the databases or with uh, uh, REST, uh, REST yes, services. Uh, so we use that uh, uh, API to uh, uh, query our um, form, uh, advanced search, so we filter uh, information and then we can combine the, the services with external services from uh, other resources, uh, other databases that can provide web services. So that allows us to combine information from our um, databases and other databases. Here we, have combi we combine information from PubMed uh, and uh, our uh, information. Okay, so future challenges for the project is to use NLP uh, to extract information uh, as an entity and relation tip um, from the data. So here it's, uh, so <clears throat> either we have um, te full textual information in RDF, um, uh, literal, so we, have, we want to extract information from this uh, literal uh, in RDF. And also, we want to extract information from publications, abstracts, or pre full publications. <clears throat> um, also, we are interested to extract information for um, uh, semi-structure in publications, such as gene table or QTL table from scientific publications. So it's very convenient 
to X uh, because the information is al already structured. And uh, also combining um, extraction from images and, and, uh, and text uh, from publication to uh, uh, enrich the data in our system. Okay, so in the future we will integrate more information from biology. Um, for the bioarchaton, we uh, we plan to uh, um, collaborate. We are open to collaborate with data providers to help them to uh, set up uh, RDF uh, models and uh, transform their data. We are also uh, interested to uh, um, inter uh, to, uh, to test to integrate new uh, tools to visualize data or to integrate uh, to help to, to integrate data in our system. Um, or to make annota new annotations. Uh, so thank you for your attention. So these people help us to de develop the project. So started in 2015, so many of them are, are uh, not working with the project, but uh, they, are, they help us to, to build up the, the platform. So thank you very much. Thank you.